But it was a white lady in Florida that went crazy on that man. Did y'all see that clip? <laughs> lady, are you crazy? Whoa, whoa. lady. Hey, lady, you're crazy. Erase lady. That. Lady. Fuck, move, bitch. Fucking no, you can't hit me. Yeah, call him. You hit me. I got you on camera hitting me. I'm going to go ahead and play it back, man. I know it happened too quick. Y'all ready? Erase that. <laughs> lady, are you crazy? Whoa, whoa. Erase lady. That or I'll punch the fuck out of you. Hey, lady, you're crazy. Erase Lady. That. Lady. Fuck move, bitch. Fucking no, you can't hit me. Yeah, call him. You hit me. I got you on camera hitting me. All right, so when things to appear to be ending, one of the women shifts her glare to the content creator and walks over to him demanding he erase the footage. So what happened was there was a conversation going on between two women, and this is one of the women. A little confrontation happened, and so she turned her head towards this content creator, this YouTuber guy right here, and noticed he was filming. So she went over there, and she was demanding for him to erase the footage. The camera all of a sudden gets super shaky and jerky as the woman tries grabbing for the camera. And this is the end result of it. As the woman fumbles and pants to the parking lot floor, you see the woman on the ground and threatening the police and telling him to stay put. All right. I did see that. I just didn't know what the backstory was. I, no, I remember that clip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what are your thoughts about that, man? I'm just getting uh, getting some reactions, man. I guess, you know, she got what was coming to her. I know we are often told never to put our hands on a woman. I didn't see him strike her, but it looked like he was kind of defending himself. And then once she, she got what she was looking for, then she wanted to try to call 911. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to you first, Ruth. What are your thoughts about that, man? Well, a long time ago, I learned my lesson. You know, somebody threw a snowball. At me in high school, I felt like it was a punch. So I decided to punch him back. Well, he punched me back and I never hit a man ever since. And that was that. It was good for me to learn that. And I hope y'all ladies learn that too. And that's it. Maybe one more time I hit somebody, but that was it. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I don't put my hands on men. I don't think women should. Now you got to learn to keep your hands to yourself. Go ahead, Trey. Like You said you've seen it already, yeah. right? Yeah, I had sort of. I didn't know the backstory behind it though. I just, I just saw the footage and you know got a laugh out of it. But um, yeah, I think I think it goes both ways, man. People just shouldn't put hands on other individuals at all, right? So it looked like he tried to give her a couple of chances before he just went like all the way full blown. Like she hit him a couple times. He was trying to like get her out of there, but she was pursuing him. And at that point, it's like, come on, man, what, what, what you expect? He's not going to allow you to um, injure him. He's not going to allow you to injure him. So, yeah, he, he kind of had to do it. Like, she was she was, <laughs> she was doing too much. She she had it coming at that point. Um, you would love to see him try to avoid it anymore. But what do you expect him to do, run away from her? Like, you know, it, it gets to a point where you, you, you're not going to let people violate you. And and what he did, I don't think it was, it was crucial. It's not like... He gave her a nice little sock or nothing. He just got to push her off. She was, she was in shock, and he didn't continue. He left it alone, and he was like, all right, well, <laughs> that's what you wanted. So I think he handled it pretty well with the circumstances that he was given, right? I don't know what, what led up to that. I, like if there was – I mean, I understand the um, – you know, you definitely gave some context, but we didn't see how – if she just started out like that and he wasn't – being violent at all, then yeah, it is what it is. She got what she had coming to her. All right, I'm curious about you, Allie. Um, I'd agree with that. I just feel like, man, we're post pandemic, and as a lady, we fist bump and dap with how many dudes? The our little hands, like, what is she? I don't know where her mind was thinking. Like, physiologically, we are just not a match for a man. So the pure fact that she even thought to raise her little ass fist excuse me, to, to him was ridiculous. Like she had it come in. I think he did handle it well. Um, you know, like, yeah, she had it come in. 
Yeah, she did. Go ahead, brother Shane. Uh, Fafo, right? Ain't that what they call it? Fafo? She fucked around. She found out. You know, men have seven times the tensile strength of women. Seven. A lot of women think that men are just twice as strong. Typically, pound for pound, men are seven times stronger. If a man was to shake your hand and he wanted to crush your hand, he can't. You can't crush. There's Women can't crush a man's hand in a, in a handshake. And so we have this thing called low level threat of violence. And that's what men have to each other. That's what keeps us at bay. You know, oftentimes you'll see people get on these panels on the Internet, even on YouTube, and they'd be arguing with each other. They wouldn't do that if they was in front of each other. And if they were in front of each other, somebody's standing up off the sofa and lunging at somebody. So we have this low level threat of violence. If I was to say something wrong to Marcus, Marcus is going to come for me. And I know that. And vice versa. The thing is. Women don't have that low level threat of violence because of modern day protections. And so oftentimes you'll see women push the buttons or, or go further than they actually should because they never had to get punched in the mouth. And that's what you see. And that's what you're starting to see today on video. And you also don't get to tell someone how to respond to your attack. You know, you get people, well, you know, well, you didn't have to do that. You didn't have to knock her out. You didn't have to lift her up and body slam her. You didn't have to do. No, 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 no. You do not get to tell somebody how to respond to your offense. And that's just how I feel. So what's the lesson? The lesson is, ladies, keep your hands to yourself. And this is not just Karens. And Karens aren't just white. This is across the board. You know, in the Western world, particularly because, it's, again, the low level threat of violence isn't really there for women because you guys, well, not you guys, but the women have had so many protections for so long. And now these these little smartphones got these high definition cameras that we didn't have back in the day, back in, you know, when I was growing up. So. I, I hope you don't get into a fuck around and find out moment like she did, because you might get hurt and you might run into the wrong guy. A lot of guys have a lot of restraint, but. They don't necessarily have to, especially in Florida, a stand your ground state. All right. Go ahead, Brown Sugar. Um, so I basically agree with everybody else. Um, I kind of see it both ways, although I agree that she shouldn't have put his hands, uh, put her hands on him. Um but at the same time, I feel like people do things for social media for some type of reaction. So if you recording someone arguing, she's already like at a heated state, I guess, if that's what the backstory is. Um, so if you recording someone, that's kind of a private moment. Some people don't want their personal business put on blast. Um, so if you're doing stuff for likes, then you got to know what to expect from that. Again, I don't agree with what she did, but at the same time, um, I mean, what else is he doing that for? I mean, you got people out here like pranking people for likes, like going up to people acting like they want to fight them for likes. And it's like, what type of reaction are you expecting to get from that? So um that's all i'm saying but again i don't agree with anybody putting hands on anybody uh, a lot of people lack emotional intelligence and that's uh something that a lot of people need to work on both men and women all right go ahead brother hank man look i, I said it before on the people sunday man some of these cats don't realize or they forget that you women, once you buck up to them, act like you put yourself in a man's place. So I'm the last man. I'm one of them old school dudes don't believe in putting hands on women. That's, that's what I raised. It's a cloth I was cut from. These young cats ain't come from the same cloth. They laying you heifers out. So keep your goddamn hands to yourself. Don't be putting your hands on a woman. I mean, you know, look, he did a, a service because he looked like he was a big dude. And the only thing he did was shove her down. He gave her that goddamn Heisman pose stiff arm. 
But if he decided he wanted to, you know, rearrange her jaw, he very well could have. And it wasn't nothing but self-defense. And like I said, it's in Florida, stand your ground, say, yes, yeah, even more so reason why. Because what if that man had a pistol and decided to pull it out and use it? Now you got a different situation. Because you man would, man, you shouldn't have had an altercation arguing in the damn parking lot. How tacky is that shit? Why couldn't you maybe get in your car and have that conversation with the individual? Or, 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 or just let it go, or whatever the case may be. You don't think there's always going to be cameras around? Please believe that store parking lot probably got cameras. And I'm sure she probably did call the cops. She, she looked like that type. And I'm sure they probably went inside and looked at the film and, as well as looked at his film and, and probably realized it's not even worth it. At the end of the day, it's not even worth it. So, ladies, keep your hands to yourself. But, fellas, man, don't put your hand on these women because they try to get you. I'm just going to leave it there. All right, brother. Hey, go ahead, M. White. Uh, I don't think you should ever hit a woman. I'm glad no woman was involved in this incident. She was an aggressor. So there's that. All right. Ms. Darwin. I think this particular situation is uh, someone filming somebody in a, sort of like what Brown Sugar said, in the heat of the moment, heat of the moment, catching an embarrassing moment maybe. But I mean, hitting a woman, uh, I'm with heat. I don't think you should hit a woman. I think the co most common scenarios is when, can y'all hear that in the background? I hope oh, y'all can't hear that. Mm, it's very yeah. faint. All right, cool. My son watching Despicable Me. But anyways, if you, uh, if I'm, if I think the most, com the most common situation is being out with your woman, or being with a girl or, or approaching a girl or, you know, getting altercation with a woman, and y'all don't see eye to eye, y'all getting fighting each other. In that situation, I don't think anybody would condone hitting you. But because this woman wasn't a significant other or somebody he held, held dear, it's more easier to put her to the ground like that. But I don't think anybody on it. I get what you're saying, fuck around and find out. I hope that's not the case. If this was your significant other, you fight me typically. I've been in this situation, not with my current wife, but in the past. And if, I, if she came with me or, you know what I'm saying, we was, you know, intimate at one point, we went out and it got to that, I would never put my hands on it. From, you know what I'm saying? I would always just walk away. Even if she hit me, I would walk away. So I think the line here is this woman don't mean anything to him. So if I'm watching this, I would think that it, I think men behave different when a woman actually belongs to the man. Now, I have seen some cases where... <laughs> The man punched his wife out in public or whatever. That's that's just sad. That's why I'm trying to make it clear that I hope that ain't the case with the brothers on this panel. 